I'm Kati Agoch. I was born in Ontario, Canada, and I teach on the composition faculty at the New England Conservatory in Boston. The piece that I'm writing for Metropolis Ensemble, I knew what I wanted to do very soon in the process, which was a polytextual motet, and it's got a, a spiritual impetus behind it. I've always looked at music as a way to bring spirituality into our lives in the modern world, and even the experience of working for a morning on composition with your Blackberry turned off is like a, is becoming like a, spiritual experience because we used to this thing ringing constantly and people having access to us at all times and hours and none of it really adding up to much like actual communication so for me music plays the role of rooting me spiritually so i work during the summers in newfoundland where i have a, a composition studio it's amazing because I'm not from Eastern Canada, I'm from the heartland, but I'm so drawn to that, that marine environment. Being near the ocean is just amazing. It's almost like you're going back to like what the world was like before people came along and like built all the stuff, included the air. I think that it's always a challenge to get the kind of quiet that one really needs to compose. If there's a place that you can go to where it's quiet, if you can get used to that as your usual environment for a while, then it helps to center, it helps you to find that when you're not there anymore. The piece that I'm writing for Metropolis Ensemble is, is evolving very quickly and, um, and my choice of text has solidified. I decided I, I'm going to do a polytextual motet in three languages and layer these, these love poems in English, Hebrew and Latin, ancient Latin, on top of each other. Ve'achi. Mesibo. Mesibo. Yeah, good, excellent. Of course, with the, with the Latin and Hebrew texts, I have to consult with other people too, because I don't know those languages, so I have to consult about pronunciation and meaning. Ait fuisa navium celerimus. Celerimus. Oh, that's interesting. I like it much more as a like it, but I thought. I like to develop instrumental writing that's very specific to the piece and the instrument and sort of stretch the boundaries of what's possible while getting into a really um, characteristic sonic area. <laughs> There's an E.E. E. Cummings poem that says, I carry your heart, I carry it in my heart. It's a very famous poem, and I found a poem by Catullus. It's about a boat, but there's sort of all these allegory, allegorical resonances to that. And, and then I found a Hebrew text by Yehuda Halevi. When you hear them t together, it's very pure, and it sounds very modern because you'd I haven't really heard the languages layered like that before, but it also sounds very archaic because the languages themselves sound archaic. You're there all of a sudden, you're hearing this thing that you've been thinking about for so long. It's really quite a powerful experience. It's a little overwhelming, I would say, viscerally, because you're, ta you're taking in all these sounds that you've been imagining in your head, but they're mixing in such a way with the natural acoustics, so it's not, it's giving you a lot too that you didn't expect.
It was a premiere, so there are things that I'd like to refine in terms of the balance. But I just thought the ensemble and Andrew were so incredible. Like it, I just felt like they understood it, and the singers really understood what I was doing, and they really invested it with, you know, emotion and resonance. I think it really showed me sort of where I want to go in my music, and that's been a really exciting point for me to be at this year. It established a really specific sound world. It's just been. It's just been an amazing experience.